Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm going to be doing my team update. This was my team uh, before I got suspended from the EA servers. I don't know how long it's going to be before I'm unsuspended, and I don't know if my team will be wiped. So I just decided to do my team update on Mutthead. I'll probably be doing one of these once a week. Uh, just different teams, like all Big Ten, all ACC, all Big 12, uh, all non-power conference, all just different things like that just showing you and then I'll show you the price on how much it costs and then I'll do like a budget team a couple different budget squads and all that different stuff but let's start out um, at my left tackle I had Walter Jones uh, wanted thought about Orlando Pace but uh, Walter Jones was my chemistry so I just went with him next was Steve Hutchinson I went with him because I like Steve Hutchinson and he's the best left guard so yeah I was kind of handcuff there center Dermonte Dawson uh went with him because he's my chemistry and he's the best center uh at right guard I went with Larry Allen who is really expensive for a lineman but he's extremely good so that's why I went with him and right tackle I had Jonathan Ogden uh also because he's my chemistry and that uh that Dan Deardorff wasn't out yet for me to be able to buy him at fullback, I had the uh, numbered Sheldon Richardson, uh, which if my team gets wiped, number 91 out of 100 Sheldon Richardson will no longer be able to be bought um, or be able to be had. At halfback, um, it was a kind of a split backfield between uh, 99 Adrian Peterson and 98 Jamal Charles, but at the time, Adrian Peterson was the starter. Um, pass offense... Wide receiver number one was Randy Moss. Uh, number two was Megatron. And number three was Isaac Bruce. Really like this uh, wide receiver core. I'm also going to do the, the depth chart. Uh, so you'll see my wide receiver four and some of that stuff. Uh, but Isaac Bruce, I really love this uh, wide receiving core. They were monsters. Uh, so hopefully I still have them. Uh, at tight end, I had Shannon Sharp. Uh, the cheesiest tight end, um, he was in the last game he was, this game not as bad, but still a little bit of an unfair tight end, uh, at quarterback, got him, I had him, Michael Vick, the 99, uh, all men 25 edition one, uh, you all know why I had him, <laughs> at left end, I did have that J.J. Watt, the fantasy, uh, but then I got the Cameron Wake, and then I decided to go against the Cameron Wake, and, uh, where is it? Where is my right end? There it is. I went with Julius Peppers at my right, at my left end. Uh, I know he's a right end, but, uh, I don't see a problem with, like, playing a linebacker out of position, or a line, D lineman, or an O lineman. It's when you play, like, uh, I don't even know. Not, not out of position. Out of position is fine because you usually can't pay, play weird guys out of position. But I had the Ultimate Legend Warren Sapp as my D tackle one. And William Perry, wherever he is, there we go. The man defense, William Perry, as my D tackle two. Uh, my right end, I actually was able to get the Dwight Freeney before I was suspended. So he's there. Uh, a monster. Uh, crazy crazy card i uh, only got to play one game with him but he was he was crazy uh derek thomas was my left outside linebacker the all 25 middle linebacker was ray lewis one of the greatest buys i've ever made to get him back on my team and next was who was it carlos dansby i think yeah it was carlos dansby i'm like 99 percent sure um, and then middle, and then right, right outside linebacker play a Super Bowl Derek Brooks. Uh, so I had a with these three, I had a nasty linebacking core, uh, which I really liked. And I never play more than three down linemen, so that's why I didn't see a need to improve William Perry. My secondary starting off with uh, team MVP Richard Sherman. Uh, just wanted him. He's he's not the greatest card, so. Um, He's really not worth how much he cost, but I just wanted him because I wanted Richard Sherman. And then I had Charles Woodson, guys know, and then Deion Sanders bought back the Pro Bowl because he's just that good. So I felt like it was it was needed to buy him. Um, then at my free safety, I have Devin McCourty. I like to play him as my strong 
but I had him playing free, so I'll just leave him like that. And then at my strong, I had Sh Sean Taylor uh, playing the strong safety because all the strong safeties so far are not very good. They're they're decent at best, I'd say. Uh, so I just decided to play Sean Taylor there. Specialist, my kicker was Venetary. Punter, my punter was Marquette King. And my kickoff starter was Shane Leckler. Uh, got a little variety of different specialist players. Uh, kick return, I had, let's see here. I had the Combine Trendon Holiday uh, returning my kicks and punts. Um, and my long snapper actually had, where is it, BCA Marquise Pouncey doing my long snapping. And third down running back was uh, Jamal Charles. So that's that. Team card, here we go with this. Uh, head coach, I had, let's see here, a long passing man. I had um, Flores. Uh, stadium, I was using the Aloha, Sta or, uh, so Aloha Stadium or whatever it is, the Hawaii Stadium. I don't even know what it is. You guys know what stadium I'm talking about. Uh, away jerseys, I was using the, let's see here, where is it? There we go, the San Diego 2011 throwbacks. And, or no, 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 wait, 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 that, wait, I don't even remember which one's the home and away anymore, I don't think any of these are away, are they, I don't even remember, uh, but I had two uniforms there, uh, my offense was the Panthers, uh, let's see here, there's the offense, and my defense was the Eagles, the Chip Kelly playbook. Okay, let me get into the uh, depth chart a little bit here. Um, at the backup quarterback, I had the Super Bowl Tom Brady. And behind him, I had the Aaron Rodgers fantasy. Uh, halfbacks, the backup AP, uh, I had Jamal Charles. Uh, behind Jamal Charles, I had... Um, where is he? Uh, the ghost... Der no, 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 no. I had the regular Thurman Thomas, not the ghost one. Uh, legendary Thurman Thomas, and behind Thurman Thomas, I had a legendary Marshall Falk. This one, um, backup fullback, I had Mike Tolbert. Uh, this one because he was pretty cheap, so I just got him. Uh, backup wide receiver, I had Josh Gordon, and behind him, I had Deshaun Jackson. Thank God they have, didn't have to look up to Sean. And behind him, I had the Trendon Holiday. Speed boost one. Uh, behind Shannon Sharp, I had the Gates. Wherever he is. Um, let's see here. I just want that one. That's the one that I had. Left tackle behind Walter Jones, I had... Uh, where is he? Dang it, he's down one. I had Michael Roos behind Hutchinson at left guard. I had Zane Beatles behind center. I had Nick Hardwick, this one. Uh, behind Larry Allen, I had, let's see here, Alex Boone. And behind right tackle, I had the ghost Eric Fisher. Uh, left end back up, I had Reggie White because I got him for like 10k, so I was like, I'll just keep him. Uh, D-tackle 3, I had, let's see here, who was it? I had a Geno Atkins, and I had John Randall, who cost like 15k or something like that. At right end backing up, I had Deacon Jones. Got him pretty cheap. Backup left outside linebacker was Justin Houston. Uh, second middle linebacker was Patrick Willis. Uh, backup right outside linebacker was Brian Arakpo. Let's see here. Where is he? There he is. Brian Arakpo. Oh, wait. I just got rid of 
Derek Brooks. I gotta get... Wow, why does it keep kicking back up to the top? That's annoying. Uh, Brian Arakpo. Uh, fourth corner, I had Pat Pete, which are... There's, there's a speed boost one. And the fifth cornerback, I had Champ Bailey. Uh, back up free safety, I had Ed Reed. And back up strong safety, I had... Let's see here. Eric Berry, team MVP. Uh, just to give me a little bit of extra options. So there's that. Uh, I believe should have 99 long pass and 99 man defense. So I'm going to save this uh, so we can take a look at it. Let's see here. My team. YouTube. So I can find it. Lineups. Here it is. And how much is it worth? Once it loads. Estimated value of 8.6 million coins. I don't know if that factors in the depth chart. Or if it just... Um, or if it just goes by these cards. But yeah, that's my team. I'll flip through it one more time here. Just to give you guys a nice little look. I'll go like 5 seconds on each one. Uh, but... Yeah, I really like this team. I do have some gameplay with it. Uh, I think I have three games of gameplay with it. So you guys will get to see this team in action a little bit. But uh, not too much. Depending If it doesn't get wiped, then you will get to see a lot of gameplay with it. But if it doesn't, or if it does, then those three games will be it probably. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know um, what your guys' teams are looking like, if you're happy with your teams, um, what cards you're looking to add, or something like that. And uh, yeah, just, just let me know what you guys think. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.